Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Basketball Wives Season 4 Reunion Part 1. Yes, Part 1. We're going to start off with Shawnee. Shawnee, she gets on there to defend the foolery, if that's the word, that's been going on this season. And I guess she feels that she needs to defend herself. Cause she's getting all this backlash about everybody fighting, throwing bottles, throwing plates, jumping over tables, bullying people that's gone on this season. And she was like, well, me and our producers, we're getting together and we're going to try to change things up and show more positive things, you know. There was more positive things, but you know, me and the producer, we was going back and forth and all this stuff. Basically, she's trying to cover her tail so she won't look like the bad guy like why are you promoting this and i'm i'm a lover of pink but that outfit to me like last season she had that like multicolor, look like 1980s kind of outfit on and she had on this like pink tuxedo so if she like it i love it okay we're gonna move over to evelyn he asked her about you know the whole her jennifer her and jennifer fight and her jumping over tables, ready to hurt somebody, and she was like, "Yeah, when I, and her fight with Kenya, and she was like, "Yeah, once I saw that, you know, my stepdaughters were in the car with me, and they thought it was fun, and they watched it, and I guess she actually looked at herself like, hey, I have these young kids, you know, that are in my life now, and I can't be acting like this. I gotta set an example for them that hey, fighting shouldn't be throwing bottles and plates and just acting all kind of food because you mad." And I'm glad that she sees that now. So we're going to move over to Tammy. He just asked her about her man anger management and how she feels about the whole Keisha situation. She was like, she apologized. Like, I'm sorry the way I handle things, but I'm not sorry for what I told her. Basically, I shouldn't have jumped down your throat and made you scared and run off the island. But yes, I feel I need to tell you, quit talking about me behind other people's back. And... I'm like on the fence about this. It's like I understand where Tammy's coming from. If you have something to say about me, come to me with it. Because if I hear it from somebody else, I don't know in which tone and manner you had it. And I could bring, take it the wrong way. But then again, you shouldn't be ready to jump and fight somebody and bullying somebody just because you mad. Because they were saying a few things about you. And yes, Keisha, she should have realized the first time she said something about Tammy. And Tammy got on her. I don't know why she ran back was talking again about it. Mainly with Susie because I guess she hasn't watched the other season of Basketball Wires when Susie was jumping from person to person giving her information and taking it back to the other girls. She should have learned that. Maybe she didn't watch Basketball Wires. I don't know. So it's just like, yeah, my angle magic work. If anybody needs it, then they need to do it. So, the big elephant in the room is the whole Jennifer and Evelyn slash Nia fight. Evelyn was like, Jennifer wants everybody to think that Nia's just my, you know, assistant. Her, and apparently, Jennifer and Nia, they were best good friends, like Forrest and Bubba. And Jennifer and Eric, like, seized all their accounts or froze their accounts. And she didn't have no money. She stayed with Nia for a few days. And... Evan was upset the fact that Jennifer called her a bum. You know what? Now, here's my thing. I feel that if somebody slaps me, you know, that's it. I think I should be able to say anything about you right then and there. Now, I'm not going to go into the situation, you know, talking bad about you. Yes, she was wrong for calling her a bum, even though you were standing at her house. But I guess that went all out the window when she laid her hands on her. And Jennifer's like, not Jennifer. Evelyn's like, well, I done got slapped by some friends, and I ain't never called the police. Well, Evelyn and Jennifer, they done, they done grew up in two different worlds. Jennifer's the type of person, you put your hands on me, I'm pressing charges. I understand that. You just can't go around hitting people and think you're going to get away with it. So, Jennifer comes out, and she does the whole, I'm tired of talking about this whole situation. Evan was like, well, if you felt so strong about not hitting you, why don't you press charges back then? Why did you have to wait till after it aired? And Jennifer was like, well, I did. I went right to the police station. It's not Jennifer's, yes, you're speaking in third person. It's not Jennifer's fault that the police took so long to do it. All I could do is 
hey, fill out a police report. It's up to the police to whether they're going to prosecute or all that stuff. And she was saying, no, I didn't live with her. I stayed with her a couple of nights. If I was going to live with somebody, why didn't I just go stay with my mama? And she was saying, everyone was saying, you didn't have enough money for a cab and a ferry from Jersey. And all this other stuff. Just basically throwing all of Jennifer's business out to everybody. And Jennifer went to this. He was like asking her, like, you know, ain't you going to apologize? Don't you feel bad the way things went about? She was like, they did that. If I did something wrong, I apologize. That's if I did something wrong. Basically, I don't think I did anything wrong. But if you think I did something wrong, I'm sorry. But is not just me or been Jennifer was getting her makeup on. She looked like she had a little nip tucked in in the eye area. Maybe that's just the way the makeup looked like when they was first put it on her. Because it was something, I don't know, something different about her, her eyes when they was doing her makeup. No, we are not going to talk about Susie because Susie sat there the whole time. Looking flabbergasted, not knowing what was going on. They didn't really have nothing to say about her this episode. Whether they're going to bring it up next episode, I don't know. Roy said a few words here and there. John Sally, every time something happens, like, Royce don't cry. First time, yeah, it was somewhat cute. But when you do it more than once, it's like, okay, really? Can we start with that? It, wasn't, it was somewhat fun the first time. Now, you didn't say it three times. It's just like... So, we're going to move to him bringing up the whole... Evelyn being loose in Kenya saying that. So, she was like, you know, they did that whole bit and, what was I saying? What happened? Oh, yeah, it wasn't about that. It was about um, Keisha and Kenya. I didn't just brought something whole different to the story. I'm sorry about that. She was like, are y'all ever going to work together? And she was like, no. Kenya's like, no, we're not going to work together. You know, I guess she felt some kind of way that Keisha's like, if this ain't going to be good, I ain't put my name on it. And I, I don't know if he's going to bring it up next episode, but I really wish he would have brought it up. Girl, how did you stay in that room with all that fish juice and fish smell in there, and you just sat in there like it wasn't nothing? I really wish he had brought that up, because I would have liked to know how did she do it. I'm the kind of person, if something smells for like more than doggone 30 seconds, I'm leaving out of that area where it smells at. I'm not going to sit there in hopes that the smell is going to go away. Yeah, so apparently Evelyn then took some lie detector test and they want Jenna to take some lie detector test about what we, I guess, we'll find now. Jennifer's like, oh my God, I guess so, I will. Y'all know how Jennifer be talking. So, that was basically the gist of the episode. So, if I left anything out, by all means, leave a video response or a comment. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.